Hey guys, uh, Dead Pornic here again. I I hate having to do this. I hate this. Now I have to do it's two back to back. This is not fair. But um, it's uh, it's with a heavy hurt that I have to t announce that Arlene Sorkin, the uh, the voice of uh, Hurley in the animated series, has uh, has passed away. Um. This one, this one really hurts me because for a lot of people, myself included, she was my Harley Quinn. She was, she was the girl who, well, she was the actress who gave the character life and I love her for it. She is a, she was an amazing actress. She, uh, believe it or not, she was actually, um, on Days of Our Lives at one point. I don't watch that show, so I don't know, but... She was absolutely amazing. She she gave Harley a lot of life. She gave her a lot of like hilarity, and she she must have had a hell of a relationship with uh, Mark Hamill in terms of their working relationship, because it must be difficult, especially since you know he played the Joker, and now the well, the Joker's gal is well, she's gone. It's it's not fair. Like, we've already lost one person today, and we we don't need to lose another one. But we did. And it, it's hard. I'm trying my hardest not to cry again. Um, she also had a... She, she probably had a really um, fascinating um, working relationship with Kevin Conroy, too. Which, I gotta say, well... I hope that uh, wherever she is, she's with Kevin, and they're they're having the time of their lives. I can just see them looking down right now and just saying, "Well, uh, I I I voiced a fictional cartoon character, and that's what I'm most well known for, and people love me for it." And a lot of people don't realize that she has been in almost every. Uh, Batman related media that's been tied to the 90s cartoon since its very beginning but she was actually uh, she voiced Harley in the the Ar uh, Batman Arkham Asylum she was uh, she she did a lot and she was actually in uh, while well, she was in the extension um, the new Batman Adventures, but she was also in an episode of uh, Justice League, actually, if I remember correctly. Um, she also was in Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, which is no surprise there. Um, she, and also, surprisingly, she she just, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm so torn up about this. First it was, First it was Kevin, then it's Bob Barker, and now I ha now I have to find out that that Harley's gone. It's like that's not fair. Like seriously, God, if you're listening right now, Mark Hamill is off limits. Like, no joke. Um, I think I think the very first time I ever got introduced to Harley Quinn was actually in the the episode uh the Laughing Fish, which. I love that episode quite a bit. Um, the 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 funny part was that like Harley was like, "Ew, uh, I hate fish," and then she's like, "Eh, no offense, Mister J." And then um, Joker's like, "Cheer up, you could be my my little mermaid." And then puts like a fish suit over her and laughs, and she's like, "You're really sick, you know that, boss?" And it's like. I'm sorry, that is just way too good for me. And then I found out more about her character from Mad Love and especially the Arkham Asylum um, audio tapes, which were instrumental in giving her, her her character and giving her her background. I don't know if she was actually in um, Arkham Origins, but I, I'm not sure about that one because I know Harley was actually in that game, but... Um, I don't know if Arlene Sorkin voiced her, uh, but my f my other favorite episode is definitely uh, well. There's actually two that I really enjoy, but 
the one that really sticks out to me was uh, Harley's Day Off, which is similar to uh, the episode Birds of a Feather, where you know a villain gets out on parole and they're trying to reintegrate back into society, and they end up going back to being you know their criminal ways. But at the end, you kind of feel sorry for them, which is just it was heartbreaking. And especially for Harley's in that episode, she she went on a shopping spree and she bought herself a new dress. And through a through a uh, a misunderstanding, she made off with the dress. But uh, the uh, I guess the the tracker thingy on the dress itself wasn't taken off, and she ended up panicking and she dons her you know her her uh, her makeup and her outfit. And she kidnaps, um, I forget her name, but her dad is like a major, is like a general. And they go to, um, I forget, I forget the, the gangster's name, but, um, there's this one bit that, where he's like, any last words? And she says, just one, bye bye! The, the two hyenas burst through the, the wall and start, you know, Chewing on his his suit, and he, she's like, "Play nice with your new chew toy." It's like that was that summed up Harley perfectly. And then, um, th- her the person she you know didn't mean to kidnap, but she did. Uh, she says, "That's my father." And then Harley says, "No, that's your father in a tank." And oh my god, it's it's brilliant. And then. Um, after shenanigans and Sue and Batman kind of recaptures her, um, he basically kind of, he, uh, he brings her back to Arkham and then, um, Harley's, well, Harley's all confused because Batman has never, like, you know, stuck, her, stuck, like, stuck up for her and kind of, um, helped her out in that sense because, because she's always kind of giving him grief. And then um, Batman says, well, I know what it's like to have to have a bad day. And um, Harley says, nice guys like you shouldn't have a bad day. And then she, you know, smooches him. And it's it's really it's really great. I, I really enjoy that particular episode. And then my other favorite episode is definitely Harley, Harley Quinnade, where... Batman and Robin actually have to get her to help, which is actually another thing that happens is, um, this is the same thing that kind of happens with, um, Batman and Harley Quinn, the movie, but in the Harley Quinn 8 episode, uh, Arlene Sorkin actually got to sing a song called, uh, hang on, let me just look it up one sec. It's, uh, where is it? What is it called? Uh, Say We're Sweethearts Again. And, Paul Dini and um, the director, they they really wanted to put like an old tiny song in there and Arlene was just the perfect, she was just just the perfect um, person to sing that song and it fits Harley so well. And of course the lyrics are changed around but it's still funny as hell the way she sings it. And it's great. And then there's the bit with the Joker where, well, the reason they have to get her to help is because the Joker is basically planning to set off a nuclear bomb and blow up the city. And uh, Harley's finally had enough. And so she takes her like um, basically like I don't know what it's called but it's basically like a something akin to like a a battering or something and like shoots it at the Joker and he like hits him on the head and it's, it's very cartoony. But then he crashes his like biplane into the building and then she picks up a gun and she's just about to shoot him and you know joker's taunting her and then she actually pulls the bullet but it's or pulls the trigger but the but the gun is is uh it's one of those gag gag guns that the joker's li- likes to use where it, it has the little flag that says bang and it's it's absolutely great i really thought that she was gonna kill him off it was great. Oh my god. That would have been great. I actually don't know if she was actually in uh, the Injustice uh, 
games, but it would have been, it wouldn't surprise me. But um, she definitely had she, uh, the the thing about Harley that I really like is that um, she after uh, New Fifty Two she basically got her own. Um, she got her. She became her own character, where she didn't have to. Uh, she didn't have to rely to, to in, on being uh, her uh, Joker's like henchwoman anymore. She could be her own person, and this is actually how. Well, she teams up with uh, uh, Poison Ivy, and they go off on a bunch of weird adventures together, and they eventually get into a relationship, which I think is good for her character because, I mean, granted. Ivy's not exactly the uh, the most ideal person to have a relationship with, but based on uh, the Harley and uh, Ivy episode um, that was in the animated series where they first meet, I really like that episode too. It's very synonymous, and it, it's a it's a very good episode because they they show off two characters and they put them together, and the way they the way it's written is just absolutely wonderful but the crowning achievement of um harley's character in the anime series was definitely um the the episode based off the original comic mad love which gives her her origin story it also expands on the uh, abusive relationship and the loop that harley is stuck in which is just wonderfully acted by arlene she was wonderful in that and also, um, it, it, it was the first time that I ever heard Batman laughing. And that's that's not a good thing. And I now realize to the full extent why, like, it's so... Why she keeps going back to the Joker. Because she's he's got her wrapped around his little finger. And basically, she can't... There's no place he, she can hide from him. Even if she wanted to get away. And there's even been, like, episodes where, like, the Joker kind of kicks her out. And then, like, a couple days go by and she doesn't even, he doesn't even realize that she's gone. Um, but then, uh, through, you know, manipulation and all that, she basically, he basically gets her back. It's, it's both tragic and fascinating at the same time. I wish I could do a psychological profile on her but I don't know if I could do it justice not with uh not with the the amount of um the vast number of uh sources available my probably the one thing that makes me appreciate Harley now is because she well the the Harley Quinn show, animated show is really really well done and it's both hilarious, it's graphic, it's un unapologetic, and it's just, you know, it's just funny. And I think, um, I think her name is Kelly Kuko or something. Um, yeah, the one who plays her, I think she does the, the role justice, but Arlene was the, was the foundation, and she was a very strong foundation. Without her, Harley would have never gotten off the ground in the way she did. And now every time I read a Harley comic now, I have to, I, I imagine her voice coming out of the, the character, coming out of the pages. And I really like that. That was what, that was something that made me really appreciate the, uh, the character. Uh, and my, probably the thing that made Mad Love such a, a wonderful episode was also that it showed like, to what extent Joker was willing to go to basically keep her in the loop. And also because, you know, he can't, he won't let his ego dictate that he has to be the one to kill Batman. And he, he won't let anybody else do it. It just won't, it just doesn't work. There's the one episode where uh, Joker is like, it's called the uh, the man who killed Batman. It's uh, it's a really fun episode, and it's actually where the uh, the Joker eulogy for Batman actually came from. And Mark Hamill actually did that before a live audience, and that just hits 
hard now because and it's more it's relevant now because we you know we lost Kevin, but um, as they're like lowering Sid the Squid and who's trapped in a casket into a vat of acid, Harley's on the kazoo singing amazing doing Amazing Grace. It's it's wonderful. It's both hilarious and then Joker's he's like. Well, that was fun. Who's for Chinese? And it's just like the way that just it's just a complete flip, but it's also really funny. Um, I can imagine like Arlene had some influence on how uh, Margot Robbie played uh, Harley in terms of like, you know, the way she played. She Margot Robbie probably embraced more of the insanity rather than the uh, the abusive relationship angle, which I mean, that's fine and all, but it's still, it's not the same though, but I still can't believe she's gone and it's really sad and I hope wherever she is, she, uh, she, she, we, uh, she looks down and she can finally have that smile and say she is, she, she's left behind a, a wonderful legacy and a character that will be beloved for generations. So thank you, Arlene. And I hope wherever you are, you're not. You're you're. I hope you're with Kevin. And I hope you two are, you know, hugging and you guys are talking about the good old times. And I'm really hoping that you guys get gets get um. I hope you guys are are doing well, and I hope you guys are in a good place and I just I, I really miss you guys so thank you Arlene for everything for everything you've given this character and you've given us you didn't just give us a character you gave us a performance of a lifetime and you gave us you gave us those who are suffering a hope and I hope that you see that and I really hope that what if he if um and if your kids decide to take up your legacy and voice Harley, I hope um they do just a good just as good a job as you did. But but nobody will compare to you. Not even not even the best voice actress in the world can compare can voice Harley as well as you. So th- thank you very much and May you rest in peace. A flat. I never knew that our romance had ended until you poisoned my food. And I thought it was a lark when you kicked me in the park. But now I think it was rude I never knew that you and I were finished Until that bottle hit my head Though I tried to be aloof When you pushed me off the roof I feel our romance is dead Wouldn't have been so bad if you had told me That someone had taken my place But no, no you didn't even scold me You just tried to disfigure my face You'll never know how this heart of mine is breaking It looks so hopeless but then Life used to be so placid Won't you please put down that acid And say that we're sweethearts again